Welcome back. I'm Nana Akwe. This is GB News on your TV and on digital radio. Now, after half past five today, I'll be bringing you some live music to get your Saturday evening off to the perfect start. My great British talent this week is singer-songwriter Roxy Searle. In the She'll be joining me in the studio to share her new single, Country Girl. You won't want to miss her. So back to our great British debate this hour. I'm asking, is the UK's housing market in crisis? Uh, let's talk about the latest developments in the cladding scandal. Leaseholders in lower-rise blocks of flats are set to be spared from paying uh, the, for the removal of dangerous cladding out of their own pockets. So uh, the Secretary of State for Leveling Up and Housing and Communities, Michael Gove, would attempt to make property developers pay the estimated £4 billion cost instead. He's due to make a statement this week to announce the leaseholders in buildings 11 to 18. Stand by, Paul, you're next. Thank you. Let's get some reaction to the news. I'm joined by Paul Rathsar. He's a leaseholder in London and a campaigner for End Our Cladding. So, um, Paul, talk to me about this then. Is, is this good news? 11 to 18 metres, those will now be, get some help from the government. Well, Nana, I think it is good news, ultimately. Um, and it's only good news for me, because well, my building we'll try, is... We'll try, we'll try and sort out his sound. Um, but in the meantime, let's have a quick chat with the panel, and whilst we're sorting that out. Um, so what do you think, then, housing? Uh, have you bought a house before? I've never bought a house. I'd love to buy a house, but houses are going to save up some money. Hi, Paul. Check in. You can still hear me. Yes, I can still hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, oh, I can hear you now. I don't know yeah, what happened okay, there, but no, we can hear you now. Should be good. Uh, house prices aren't going up because there's uh, there's more demand. House prices are going up because the government keeps printing money. For the past, like, 15 years, the government's been engaged in quantitative easing, which is basically zimbabwe -nomics. So they keep printing more money. When there's more <laughs> money in the economy, that money's got to go somewhere. So it goes into fixed assets. Do you think? Such as it. That's, that's exactly what's happening. No economist a, would disagree. There's a bigger story than that, but let's just... I think we've got Paul back now. Let's just... Uh, uh, see what he thinks. Uh, so, so, Paul, yes, the government, they are, Michael Gove is talking about something 11 to 18 metres now. You'll no longer have to pay for the repairage and hopefully the cladding, but what do you what do you make of all that's happening? Nana, I think on the face of it, it is good news. Um, and it's certainly good news for me. My flat is within that um, bracket, so it's, it's taller than 11 metres, but less than 18. So before um, the news, I would have got no funding, no help from the government whatsoever to tackle the, the massive cost. You're talking about 10, 20, 30, 40,000 pounds to remove dangerous cladding. Um, but I will say this, that you know, whilst on the face of it is good news, um, the devil is in the detail, um, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, in the sense that, you know, uh, the, 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 the extra funding is, of course, going to be helpful. But there's one figure we need to remember in all of this, and that's the figure from Parliament itself. Parliament, um, Parliament's own analysis has said that in order to fix this cladding crisis for leaseholders like myself up and down the country, we're going to need 15 billion. So the government is talking about sort of an extra two billion on top of what they've already committed, which is a great number and has to be welcomed. But really, we need to look at the, the broader challenge here, which is the amount of money that is going to be needed to fix the housing crisis, the cladding crisis for, for everyone. And I'm, from what I'm gauging as well from this, it's, the problem isn't just the cladding, is it? Because you might need to have the cladding replaced, but there are other fast safety issues that should have been addressed uh, whilst these things were built and then that need to be addressed. And I don't think they're covered, are they? You're exactly right, Nana. Um, even with the new announcement, it will only be cladding. So this is um, stuff, materials, dangerous materials that are put on the outside of buildings that are going to be covered. But of course, the, the fire safety crisis, the building safety crisis is far deeper than that. And uh, just to give you viewers a, a sense of two very practical examples, one is to do with um, cavity breaks in between walls and between apartments. They're put there to avoid the spread of fire. Um, a lot of these new build apartments like the one I'm in have that problem uh, as well. The other is um, fire detection systems, so adequate fire alarms, uh, and they're not in place uh, in a lot of cases. Uh, and unfortunately for a lot of people, you'll have read obviously um, quite a few people have already gone bankrupt um, from the costs 
of cladding. These are the costs that we're talking about. It's the cost of replacing fire systems. It's the cost of having um, fire patrols. And I would really hope that in addition to today, today's announcement, there's also help for people who've already had to pay um, bills because um, we all firmly believe, and I hope Michael Gove does as well, um, this isn't our fault. We didn't ask for this. Um, we didn't sign up for this dangerous cladding and we shouldn't have to pay for it. No lease holders should have to pay for the mistakes of um, very large construction companies with, to be quite frank, very deep pockets. And what, what was the amount that you would have been expected to pay before this legislation that Michael Gove is talking about? So fortunately or unfortunately, whichever way you look at it, my bill hasn't actually physically landed on the doorstep um, just yet. But I think we're talking between 10 to 30 or 40,000 pounds, certainly um, from neighbours of mine in neighbouring blocks who've um, had to undergo the same, uh, the same anxiety and the same challenge. Um, it remains to be seen whether the amount will cover that total amount, so the two, the extra sort of two to four billion will cover the ten to forty thousand pounds that I will have to pay. Um, like I said, every little helps. But the reality is, is that people like me and, and you know hundreds of thousands of first-time buyers should not have to be paying for something that we didn't cause. Paying for a single penny of it, Paul. In, in my view, uh, but Paul, thank you so much for joining me. That's uh, Paul Rafshan, who's a leaseholder and campaigner for End Our Cladding Scandal. Awful, isn't it? Ridiculous that they're expected to do that. If you've just joined me, I'm Nana Aquare. This is GB News on Digital. Thank you very much, Paul. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you soon. My panel.